الفاتحة لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل نعم المولى ونعم النسير الحمد لله رب العالمين وبه نستعين إنه خير الناسر ومعين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين قاتم النبيين سيدنا والنبينا ومولانا أبي القاسم مصطفى محمد وبعله تيبئين التاهرين المعصومين المظلومين ولعنة الدائمة على أعدائهم المعين من يومنا هذا إلى يوم الدين ربي شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل لقدة من لساني يفقه قولي أما بعد فقد قال الله تبارك وتعالى في كتابه الكريم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وقضى ربك أن لا تعبد إلا إياه وبالوالدين إحسانا and my young brothers and sisters in Islam. Assalamu alaikum jamia wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I begin in the name of Allah, the most merciful, <coughs> the most gracious, who is the master of the universe. And all the ni'mah, all the bounties are belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yesterday we were discussing about the arzu e jibrail that what were the wishes of jibrail that i wish i could be a human being for just seven reason and today alhamdulillah we are honored we are, we have been called ourselves ashraful makhluqat the best of the creatures but today, if we think on it, really it has a great value, emphasize on it. Today, inshallah, uh, we will talk about the values or the merits of midnight prayer. Namazi Shab. I've got a few themes to be discussed today or inshallah if I get time we will discuss today or otherwise we'll continue tomorrow inshallah although tomorrow night is a Thursday night and I have chosen a specific topic for tomorrow and that is invocation that how can we invoke to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but inshallah I will try my level best if we do not continue today then we'll continue tomorrow inshallah we will discuss a few verses from the Holy Quran few ahadiths as well which emphasize the merits of the midnight prayer and some advices of Imam Ja'far al-Sadiq as well regarding on midnight prayer and what are some du'as or what are some specific tools which helps to wake up for midnight prayer and inshallah, what are the advantages and the benefits? And there are some also statements by scholars, by ulama, 
which he has, which they have already discussed in their hawza, in their books as well, what are, they are recommending in Salatul Layl. In Salatul Dara, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Kanu qalilam min al ma yahja'oon. Verse number 16 and 17. Surah number 51. Dhariyat. Allah says in the Holy Quran that they used to sleep but little of the night. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continues this. وَبِلْ أَسْحَارِهُمْ يَزْدَغْفِرُونَ And in that night, what they do, they wake up and they ask for forgiveness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So it means that whenever we and there is the hadith of Imam Hassan al-Askari as well. Imam is mentioning is that, that even if you are not able to wake up or to pray for Salatul Layl, if it is open your eyes, don't just close your eyes simply. At least try to wake up at midnight. And there is also hadith of Imam Ja'far al-Fadiq that whoever wake up in mid for midnight prayer Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will quench will quench the thirst his thirst in the day of Jannah in, in the day of Qiyamah inshallah ta'ala. he will not feel thirsty he will not feel thirsty although we know that at that time it will be very hottest day but Imam has mentioned Allah will just quench his thirst, quench his thirst by his own mercy, he will not feel a thirsty. So we have to practice, inshallah ta'ala. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is also saying in the in Surah Tur that وَمِنَ اللَّهِ فَسَبِّعُوا وَعِبَادُهُ مُجْهُمْ You say that in a part of that night, exalt him after the subtle of the star. Nujum. All the verses is encouraging us that we should wake up in midnight and even inshallah ta'ala whenever we get time there are a lot of the benefits to wake up especially for those of their memories are very weak. So if you want to increase, if you want to make our brain strong Stronger, so he should wake up at midnight and talk to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Recite one loud salawat, please. One day a person came to Imam Ali alayhi salatu wasalam and he was completely denying. Imam was doing the khutbah. Imam was explaining. Imam was encouraging on midnight prayer, but he was denying. He said, no, Mawla, I am denying this midnight prayer. You know what Imam has replied? Imam has replied, he says that, you know what, why you are denying? For what cause you are denying? Because your sins are preventing you. Because of your sin, because of your guna, it's preventing you. Imam Ja'far al-Fadiq has mentioned as well, he says that they are the three things, three things, which brings the happiness in the heart. Sa'ada. It is very important if your heart is happy, obviously you are happy as well. If you are, if you are in a good mood, why you are in a good mood? Because your heart is happy. Now the three things are the main main three things that it helps us to make our heart happy having a good relationship with your mu'min brothers by having a good relationship by having a good terms with your mu'min with your brother in faith it makes your heart happy and the secondly in the time of whenever you are breaking your fast, subhanallah, especially we can see in the month of Holy Ramadan, 
the whole day we are thirsty, we are hungry, you know. When the time comes, the date's in our hand. So we should not hurry, isn't it? We should wait, first of all. Recite some inna anzalna dua. And then we decide, you know how, how we feel? We feel so tranquility in our heart. We feel so happy in the heart when, whenever we are opening the fast as well. And even there is the hadith of the Holy Prophet Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam it says He says that it is that particular time that whenever if you are opening your fast ask something to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala inshaAllah ta'ala Allah is going to give you seek your hajat whenever you are opening that is the really right time to do the dua and the third thing which makes you happy to wake up at midnight for namaz -e shab for midnight prayer and there is the hadith even our sixth imam imam jafar al-qadiq alayhi salatu wa salam in hillayat al-muttaqeen as well imam is mentioning you know that in the day of qayamat the mu'mins, the believers' face will be glown, will be shined. And the other people will ask, if they will raise the question, what is the reason of this glowing? So do you know what? Imam has replied that they will get the answer because they used to pray Salatul Layl. They used to pray midnight prayer. So it is we have to try our level best. At least to wake up in midnight, even if we can't pray. And there is the ruling of Ayatollah al Obama said Ali Sistani as well. Even if you can't meet, if even if you can't wake up in midnight, try to pray after Salatul Isha as well. It is highly recommended. Try. That is the first start, isn't it? We should not give up. When there is will, there is way. At least start and then ask help to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Oh, please, Allah, I already started now. I want to wake up at midnight. And insha'Allah ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will help you. Imam Jafar al-Sadiq alayhi salatu wa salam has mentioned, he says, the honor or respect or dignity or the greatness of a believer lies in his midnight prayer. If you want any respect in the society, in this world, try to wake up in midnight and seek some hajat to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, talk to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And another hadith Imam has mentioned, whoever denies or ignore the Salatul Layl, Imam is mentioning, he says that he is in a great loss, in a great loss. Allahu Akbar. Ayatullah Murtaza Mutahari. One person has asked to him, what are the reasons of your success? Also, I have mentioned in my uh, in uh, second lectures as well. What he says that today, Alhamdulillah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has honored. I have reached at such level. You know Ayatullah Murtaza Mutahari. He has gotten, he has really contributed a lot. He has sacrificed just to save our Shiism. And he says that the, for the three reasons, Alhamdulillah, today I have got a respect in the society. The first thing is that or because of obedience of my mom. Second, Ziyarat Ashura. Inshallah, I'm going to mention as well the merits of the Ziyarat Ashura as well. Even Imam Zamana Ajjal Allah Ta'ala Farajahu Sharif, he has got in difficulties. He says that I am trying to solve my problem through Ziyarat Ashura. Just imagine, inshallah, we are going to discuss more in detail. And what Atullah Mutazam Mutahari added, he says that by Salatul Layl, by Salatul Layl, I have got that status as well. Sheikh Muhsin al the son of Sheikh Abbas al 
one day because I don't have enough time but I, I will just try to wind up inshallah and then I will come to in Urdu one day he saw whenever he woke up in the morning Muhaddas and Muhsini he, he just woke up in mid he would just woke up in early morning and he found that his father was crying his father was weeping very loudly and he approached to his father oh my father are you okay he said that no I'm not okay what happened to you he said that today my Salatul Layl became Kaza my Salatul Layl became Kaza he was crying so then his son he says that oh Baba that is only Sunnat Namaz why you are crying don't worry inshallah tomorrow we will wake up you say no I am just thinking that is there any haram food entered in my tummy which prevents my Salatul Layl Kaza which makes my Salatul Layl Kaza why what is the main reason he was crying Allahu Akbar we have to think on that we have to ponder on it whenever if we miss Salatul Layl if we do the Salatul Layl Qadha we have to ask this ourselves that is there any something wrong with me even if we don't have enough time to pray 11 rakat 11 unit just try to pray, start with a three no problem at all even if you don't have time but try to perform it you will see a lot of the changes will come in your life inshallah ta'ala and now very very important there are the three things that which helps you to wake up in midnight prayer first of all recite surah -e yaseen after namaz -e fajr inshallah ta'ala you will wake up in and then seek the hajat after surah -e yaseen and then ask oh Allah please help me give me the tawfiq give me the strength that I should wake up in midnight prayer as well. and he says that never speak lie always be a truth very important never speak lie because these lies will prevent you prevent you from namaz -ishab. and thirdly whenever you are start to just sleeping at night even today inshallah just try this inshallah recite the verse of surah -e kahf verse number surah -e kahf verse number 110 what qul innama ana basharun mithlukum yuha ilayya annama ilahukum ilahu wahid wa man kana yurja liqa'a rabbi ahad you know do you have to recite this surah -e? uh, the, the verse number 110 of surah -e kahf inshallah try and inshallah you will see that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be help you because we have to try our level best we have to try our level best and if we don't try and inshallah ta'ala tomorrow I am going to mention its benefit there are a lot of the benefits for Salatul Layl for Salatul Layl but only I would like to mention one one benefit already I have mentioned that uh, our memory will increase and the second thing as well Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bestow in the day of judgment the gift of a crown in our head whoever have a, this crown people will recognize that that person we were the followers he used to follow me prayer and there are a lot of the benefits inshallah ta'ala we will come to discuss tomorrow inshallah so please we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the tawfiq to understand the value or the merit of salatul layl and oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the strength or help us to wake up midnight prayer that is why that is the hadith of the Imam Hassan Askari as well Imam has mentioned 
if you want to remove the hardship in your life, so try to take help from Salah Bilal. Inshallah, we will talk more details, the benefits tomorrow, inshallah. So before uh, I come to in Urdu, I would like to request, please, please recite three loud salawat for the love of Ahlul Bayt. Allah, 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 Allah,